You did this um, uh, performance now with uh, Marduk, the accuser poster, mm. and you got the crowd going really, really well. I have it on tape, and we'll, it, it's actually on YouTube right now. Why do you say, come on, you cunts, in the middle of all that? Uh, well, people are cunts. What do you want? I, I, want, I want love from you. <laughs> people got annoyed at me because I, sp I spat on a few people. Uh, <laughs> I went, went put, you know, I don't know. What, it's, it's just this, it's the K-word, you know? You know, it's like Rice Krispies or Captain Caveman or, you know. Gunnar, uh, on, the, on, the, on the Inferno thing, you've been here like... I would mostly say that you are a regular at the Inferno festival here. Well, I mean, I was here at the first, and I'm here now, and I did everyone in between, so... Could be said that I'm a bit regular, yes. So, the obvious question is then, what do you think about the development uh, for uh, Inferno festival? It's a very important step that has been taken. I mean, this is no longer just a festival where there's music happening. This is also an industrial meeting where the scene gathers and has talks, like you have the conferences, the Norwegian Musicians' Union. But the great thing is the audience still. I mean, this year you can really see there has been a change in generation. There's a lot of new faces that have never really noticed before. There's a lot of young people going on, but there's also some traditions being kept. I mean, if you have a Norwegian band playing down there at John D, it's packed. So, how was the show last night? Uh, well, yeah, it was alright. Audience was great, I think. We were okay. So it was good. How was your hair throughout the performance? Was it okay? Did it stand up? Yeah, of course, but it was funny. The best part was, of course, the lifting. It's like flying up to the crowd. The lifting is always the best, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, lads, lads, he lifted lots of fly, stuff. All right. Lads, get a room. has his own charm. So like if you go to Wacken you're gonna see really big bands, same with Grass Pop, and at Partizan which is a more extreme outlet you get a lot of death metal, grind or black metal bands and this one is very special for its like session setting, it's based in Oslo, it is what it's about, same with the Hole in the Sky which is like a bird family meeting to me and it's, you always meet the same people and it's great and then you have this and that, I think each of them has its own place. It's, you do one for that, and you have fun that way, and you do another for that, and you have fun that way. I wouldn't like to miss the variety. It would be boring if every festival was the same, it would be the same with music. You know, like if I was only listening to Black Metal, I think I'd go nuts. And the same here, I mean, even Jeroen. <laughs> now seeing Tarka is getting the hang of Black Metal, finally. Uh, on, on, uh, yeah, yeah, this is your first... Uh black metal festival as far as I understand, even though there are not only yeah, black metal here. Yeah, yeah. So, how do you view it as a whole? Um, like I said, I didn't experience it or saw it as a black metal festival for when I first came out here. I, I didn't notice it until I was here and realized how the, how the lineup was. I was like, oh yeah, there's a lot of black metal indeed. Um, 
I didn't solely come for the for the lineup, to be honest. I, I really came to to explore uh, and discover new festivals because I, I like the variety myself. I indeed agree. Uh, I'm more of a fan of a smaller, cozy festivals. I'm, 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 I'm rather than to walk in where there's 75,000 people, so I, uh, uh, 80,000 even. You know, I, I, I like the smaller settings where you can actually go up and see a band from any point of view, and you can actually talk to people and meet people. Um, so yeah, I'm, I, I like the variety. I think it's a good thing. I, I fully agree on that. And uh, I, so far, I, this festival as a setting, it's not unique because it's it's been done before. But for for Oslo and for Norway, indeed, it, it, this is I think a unique festival. And, and in itself, it, it it found its way to gain more outside and, and invite people in to to uh, to experience the Norwegian black metal, but also experience other things. And I think that's. Uh, that itself is a good development, you know, that there's more than just the traditional festival of watching a band and having a beer. There's more to do, you know, there's a market, there's uh, uh, the tours around, and I think that's something that's slowly starting to develop, like over the last five, five six years, at more festivals in Europe. And I think that, that in itself is a good thing, and it doesn't matter if that's a metal festival, or it's a, it's a traditional pop festival, or, or a singer-songwriter festival. I think that itself is a good development. You know, festivals itself starting to develop. And that's, I think, is a good thing. Yeah. You played with Primordial three years ago, uh, and I, I think, I think you, it was 1972. 1972, like three, four, five, six years ago, and and that was uh, that, that that was some of the most energetic events, at least for me as a viewer, because you're doing a very strong um, presence on stage. Do you like manage to give everything, or to be like uh, en energetic, no matter how? The, the, the crowd is because the inferno crowd can be a little bit reluctant and waiting if you see what I mean. It depends I mean sometimes when you go to countries where people you think they might be a little bit more spoiled and you know they can prove you wrong sometimes you know I mean even yesterday standing on the stage with Marduk the crowd was quite quite into it you know I mean it's I guess if you go to Singapore or Colombia or something it's going to be more brutal but I, I, I don't, I don't know, any show we've ever played in Norway, I mean, Hole in the Sky was like a fucking, like a riot, you know, it was, an, it was great. So, no, I don't have a problem, five, fifty people, five hundred, five thousand is always the same from Primordial. Um, and that's just mainly because of my great selection of hats. Yeah, yeah, that's a good, uh, I know, I noticed that, that's very, uh, I don't know what to say, but it's, it's like making you, the, it's making you the man, I think. Uh, it, it does, it is one of the things that goes together to make me what I am. Any uh, famous last words from uh, the Gunnar and uh, the Jeroen? Well, first of all, it was great to meet Jeroen finally here. Secondly, great to be back at the Inferno. And, uh, well, I just hope I'll be back next year. And you will. Well, most likely. And you as well. And, of course, Paulie there behind the camera. God damn, how did you get that Irish to join that bloody thing here, you know? Like, that lad, you know, I'm not sure. Anyways. Hi, Paulie. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you for the interview, and uh, well, enjoy the festival. Thank you very much.